What's up? What's up, guys? I already shuffled. I already split the decks. But I just want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing. Today, we hit 300 subscribers. So I want to say thank you. I mean, like when you look around YouTube, that's nothing. But for me, that's love. Real talk, this is love. And I know most of it's coming from my TikTok fam. And then y'all coming over here and show me love. So I really, really, really appreciate everybody. But since I'm feeling so special, I was like, yo, let's talk to our ancestors and our angels so we could get some real guidance. See what's going on with us. You feel me? 300 people like follow us. This is a nice, nice size collective. Yeah, you know I mean, so like, I'm pumped. I figured we get a little bit of a different type of reading. I'll stumble over a few words and then we'll get like a, some tarot in today. You feel me? Sounds like love to me. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what our ancestors got for us. Or angels, you know, it's all love. Let's see what they got for us. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh, man. Oh, we got two. They want me to read Stumble Over 2? Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, bottom deck, we've got Seer. We went over this one last week if you're part of my Patreon. Or the last time we used this deck. All right, so we have Fire Guardian and Shaman. Fire Guardian with Ignite Your Passions. All right, and then we have the Shaman with Trust in Higher Forces. That's pretty popping. That's pretty popping. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to take some time to, you know, find the pages for us. Who is this? Fire Guardian? I do do. Boom, look at that, look at that. You feel me again, doing things in the world. All right, Fire Guardian, ignite your passions. Message, connect with your desires. The sparks could lead to something beautiful. All right, about the Fire Guardian presents the angel of fire. Fire is an energy that many people are afraid of, but shouldn't be. Burning desires can lead to great expansion. Allow the Fire Guardian to help you awaken a wilder side of yourself. And burn away any fear or shame that stands between you and your desires. When this card appears, you are reminded that passion is powerful and absolutely encouraged by spirit. All right, let's check out this extended. It's not. It's, 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 it's kind of saying something. Family, family. Extended message says, you are being guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. Whoa. Okay. All right, spirit. What you trying... <laughs> Sir, what's going on over here? This this is not how we wanted to to you know like you know bless our three hundred subscribers. Like, geez, spirit, you tripping, bro? Spirit be on some wild stuff sometimes. You feel me? We got a real funny relationship, as you can see. Anywho, let's see what's popping with the shaman. All right, found a page already. Let's see what we got. It says trust in higher forces. I don't know why I sat up to read the court. I'm gonna have the book right here. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. I'm actually like a tote. It, it, anywho, let's get to this. Trust in higher forces. Trust in your angels, guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. All right, all right. On the inner planes, all of the shamans of times gone by helping the human race to understand the complexities of life and the need of Mother Earth. Many are working as spiritual guides to light workers and light warriors. The shaman card brings the energy of your shaman guides to you. Shamans believe when there was illness or disease, it was because of a person's power had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern had been installed itself in them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power and remove the quote unquote demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid in your quest. Hmm. Interesting. Extended message. There are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. 
So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to connect, I'm sorry, to correct this situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanist, sham, shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. Ooh, popping. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we are finally seeing something clearly. So it looks like our ancestors and angels, they want to help us give everything over to them. And they're saying to get a little freaky. Definitely got the freaky side. Anywho. Oh, yeah, and we can travel in between realms. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see what uh, Spirit got for us in this tarot. Uh, it says that clearly we need to release something to our shaman guides, to our, you know, our people. Let's so, And we're clearly waiting for our ships to come in. So let's see what we need to release to our shaman allies. Our spiritual allies. What do we need to release, Spirit? Spirit, what do we need to release to our spiritual allies? What do we need to release? Hmm. hmm. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It looks to me... Had a queen of pentacles is a bit conflicted either about making a decision or about a king of swords energy. Nonetheless, you have to leave it in the, in the cold. You have to, it looks like you're conflicted in leaving Mr. King of swords, you know, where he stands in the cold weather, right? You gotta leave him out. You're conflicted. I see it. I mean, you're a giver, but he's very cold. Short. Not emotionally expressive. And you're nurturing. All right, exactly as I said. Exactly as I said. Okay, so... I believe you're holding on to the idea of some sort of redemption coming back and having a soul, you know, redo, make up, do over, right? But it looks to me that this is actually a faded event. Like, I, if I'm not mistaken, this may be the contract that you sign for this particular energy to learn from this interaction with you. Exactly. The gift is leaving this ace, this king of swords in the cold, leaving him exactly where he is. It's, a, it's about to change. Some things are definitely about to change. So because you left him, because you're leaving that where he is, you get the ace of pentacles. All right. You left that situation alone. You're moving forward. You get, You now get a gift. You receive a gift. All right, okay. I don't know what that is. That could be past life soulmate recognition. Could be another soulmate. Something is coming back this lifetime. So I've got. Oh, so you're coming across as victorious. With the decision that you made to leave the conflict, all the fighting, all the nonsense in the dust. It looks like this was a long time coming. You did invest in a lot with this King of Swords. Right? Mm. Unfortunately, you were confused about the partnership, the dynamic, what this is supposed to be. And I get it because you're a Queen of Cups. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> you're a sweetheart. Anything else? 
No idea what that's about. Three of Cups, let's see what that's about. So you get to celebrate. You get a new beginning. You get to move forward, Queen of Cups. Please release this. You're seizing an opportunity for your Nine of Cups towards your emotional fulfillment. And look at you. Reciprocating with the Swords action. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right. We're going to do a short and sweet one. All right, we're going to do this one here. All right, basically, this situation is done. Because you ended this cycle, this contract, whatever this situation is that you invested so much time in, permanent ending, right? You're done. Left it in the cold. With the 5-5, five, five, ching, ching. Make the money trade go. Okay, maybe that's not it. But anywho, you feel me? You left this partnership, relationship, something that you truly cared about and seen as a gift. You left it in the cold. All right. And... You know, now you get a new life. You get to celebrate. You get to move forward victoriously. If I'm not mistaken, you may have another two of cups coming towards you to make up for this situation. Look at you. You get a new journey. Yes, you do. Look at that. After a heartbreak, you're going towards the ten of cups. Very good. Shout out to you. Very good. All right, so this is going to be short and sweet. This was cute. This was very nice. I love it. All right, guys. Again, thank you for the 300 subscribers. You feel me? We're doing huge things over here. And I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for everything. All right, guys. I love you all. Love and light.